morning, y'all. I slept like a rock. It's good morning. I love sleeping to the sound of the water rippling. <coughs> But it's gonna be another good day. We've got five miles ahead. I need some coffee. Then I'm gonna whip up some biscuits and gravy and some scrambled eggs. So let me get out this hammock and uh, just get some things going. y'all I'm at the out the hammock time to get this day started uh, gonna, gonna get some coffee going heating up some water Good coffee, good coffee. Uh, let's get some breakfast going here. All right, what we're having this morning is breakfast skillet on some burrito wraps. And you can't go wrong with biscuits and gravy. So let's get this going here. Biscuits and gravy is one and a half cups of water. Breakfast skillets, one and a quarter. Got some burrito wraps. Mmm, smells good. Breakfast skillet's got uh, scrambled eggs, uh, pork sausage, peppers, and onions. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to take the freshness seal out. <laughs> Somebody did that. Mmm, them biscuits and gravy smell good, too. I'll bring y'all back once I get it mixed up. We're boiling this water up. We'll be going. All right, breakfast is almost done. Coffee going here. I use a French press. Got my coffee already, just loose grounds in there. Put all my water in there. That went a little high on that. Just gonna stir them coffee grounds in there. them soak in, get that good coffee going. I got this coffee done, that breakfast is done. I'm just gonna take the press, start sifting her out, slowly down. That's it. Oh 
yeah. Oh yeah. Get some creamer in here. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, let me key y'all in on that. Oh, yeah. Got a couple of wraps going. Say in this kit, man, I got hash browns, eggs, sausage, peppers, onions. Just gonna wrap this puppy up. That's good. Try this biscuits and gravy. Ooh, that'll get me that'll get me motivated for the, the next five miles. Can't beat this. West Virginia Scenic River. Shoreline breakfast, coffee, love it. Well, I'm gonna get this ate up and um, start packing this up. I gotta pack up my, all this stuff and uh, hit the river. See y'all. Here's a getting her outdoors tip of the day, and I want to say thank you to this trip sponsor. This trip sponsor is the Dude Wipes. Let me tell you all something: when you're when you're out here on the river, you're doing a long day of paddling, fishing. You know, Mother Nature's going to call. You know, I just had a big old steak and baked potato dinner last night, and then I had this big breakfast. And then I topped it off with that coffee. Oh boy, she's gone. So, you can't deal with no swamp ass on the river. So if you want to be fresh and clean, get yourself some dude wipes. Because these things are awesome. Well, it wasn't the best campsite, but it got her done. So everything's packed up. It's time to head down five more miles. Five more miles. So let's get her done. Well, continuing on. Uh, man, I'm hoping the fishing gets better. Not too far up along here. Um, I'm going to hit where the North Hughes dumps into the South Hughes. <clears throat> right there at the bridge on 47 and I know daggone well there's fish in the north because that's what you know they dammed up for North Bend State Park but I tell you what there ain't many fish at all in the south uses but hopefully the fishing gets better once I get to the bridge we'll see I'm just easing along here I think it's about 10:30. I'm uh, picking up at four, so I got, I'm well ahead of schedule, so I'm just going to go nice and easy and try to catch some fish. Stay along. 
easing along, not catching no fish. I mean, how can there not be fish in this water, man? I've thrown everything I had. <clears throat> right now I'm throwing a three inch float and rappella. I just can't believe we can't catch a fish in all this structure. Unreal to me. I'm getting closer to where the the north dumps into the south. So maybe if there's not any more riffles <clears throat> between there and there, I think you know the fish would be up in here. I mean this just looks too daggone good not to hold fish. <clears throat> Between paddling and fishing, man, my, my shoulders are done. But I'm just taking her easy, you know. Hopefully I'll get on some fish here. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't even seen any fish hitting the surface. I just don't get it. This thing should just be, and it's, like, it's not like there's, you know, a place where people can fish from the bank or big boats up in here, you know. I just don't get it. It should just be fish everywhere, but I'll tune you all back in if I happen to get into something. Still no fish. I passed the 53 bridge. I don't know what the deal is with the fish. I'm most to the mouth of where the north dumps into the south, so hopefully we'll catch a fish before I'm done for the day. We'll see. I just passed where the north dumps into the south, so I seen a guy up the river a little bit and he said he was catching musky, but I ain't seen the first fish or caught nothing, so let's continue on. Got about another two miles, I think. Well, y'all, 
That's the end of my journey. 16 mile float. Whew, that was a doozy. Uh, I'm exhausted. I uh, did not catch the first fish. Very disappointing. But it was a good time regardless. Beautiful scenery. Had a good time camping. You know, uh, I just had to pick another river. I mean, I threw everything I had in that kayak out here in this river and I could not get a bite. Ran into a couple other people. They said they weren't catching nothing. One guy said he caught a few muskies the week before, but the water dropped a whole lot. But either way, I did not catch a single fish, but definitely broke in the kayak and my shoulders, that's for sure. Appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll try to put us on some fishing next time, but I hope you enjoyed the scenery, and we'll see you next time on Getting Her Outdoors.